Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I created this vintage style Man in the Moon painting. I'll be going a little bit slower and showing you all the supplies I used to create this. But before we get started, if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So just click that subscribe button down below. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I picked up was this 12 inch wooden circle that I actually ordered from Amazon and I will leave a link to it down below. I also ordered this pack of paintbrushes from Amazon and I will link that too. And then finally I'm just going to be using some white paint for the base and some extra colors that I have on hand to achieve that moon color. So to create my base color I'm just taking my white acrylic paint and mixing in a little bit of yellow as well as some brown to give it more of that muted look. So I'm just going to be covering all of the wood in that base color and I started to add in some brown where I thought it was looking a little bit too yellow and just kept going till I achieved that nice light base that I was looking for. This is how it looked when it was all done and I let it dry and now I'm just going to be going in with a pencil to sketch out the face that I'm looking for. So I'm starting off on the nose. So you'll see here that I start to kind of map out the bridge and where I want the nostrils to be and just kind of start to sketch very lightly. And you'll see as the video goes along that I did make a couple mistakes and just kind of wanted to redraw it. And this paint was pretty forgiving. I was able to just kind of erase over my old pencil marks and start over again. Now I'm just starting to sketch out where I want the chin to be as well as some of the cheek marks and then I'll be moving on to sketching out the eye. I just went with a pretty general shape for the eye, but I did want the moon to be kind of looking toward the side. So you'll see that I did put the pupil right next to the corner of the eye. And then I just started to map out some of the eye creases as well as the eyebrow. And now I'm moving on to his mouth. Now I'm just moving on to the smile lines and here's where you'll see that I kind of messed up a bit. I was off center so I just went over and kind of re-sketched where I thought it should be and then I went back over and erased my old pencil marks. Moving on to the second eye, I'm just trying to make it look as similar to the first eye as possible and then making sure that I keep his gaze looking to the side. When I was happy with my sketch, I went in with my black acrylic paint. So for this, I'm just using a very fine tip paintbrush and just taking my time going over all of those pencil lines. Some of my pencil lines were pretty vague so I'm just using the black paint to kind of deepen some of them and just to add a little bit more detail where I felt it needed it. So for the eye to show the difference between the pupil and the iris, 
I basically just painted the iris and you'll see I kind of mapped out a little hollow area where the pupil would be and then at the end I kind of went in and added some feathering areas to the iris to kind of make it blend in a little bit better. Here you can see how I just kind of feathered that eye and now I'm just going in and cleaning up some of my lines and finishing up my painting. And here it is all finished! I'm really happy how it turned out. I just love the vintage vibe that it gives off. And if you guys liked this paint with me, please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.